I do, okay. You know, I do. And I guess we haven't even gotten into it, right? that fucking trusted Cinco to bring drugs by the club again. We got to stop. We got to get Al Martin involved. Speaking of which, Al Martin, uh, your father, expressed possible interest in coming on the show. Yeah, he wants to be on the show. Do you understand that I would jump at that opportunity? Yeah. That could be a two-parter right there episode. We should definitely do it. I have questions for him. Mm -hmm. Do you? Like, real as fuck. Al Martin is a very, mm, ah. You had him on your other show. I did. Real nigga, yo. Oh, man. I was talking to a, another club owner, which I will not say. These fucking club owners, bro. Anyway. Uh, and, you know, he was kicking the backs in a cup of a couple of people, other club owners. But then I was like, yo, but Al Martin is cool, though. I'm telling you, I know him personally. He's a fucking real dude. And he was like, yeah, I bet he would be cool. So even the club owner acknowledged, like, yo, your dad has a reputation for being a real nigga. <laughs> and his life, uh, and this is just being real, could probably not, that probably was difficult for him to have a man that transitioned to a woman. Would you agree? No, I mean, he was always really good about it. Like I think that that's a brave man who put on a strong, brave face, but I bet you he, inside, he was fucking... It was no, no fucking, to anybody if he would have known me my You don't think life. he was in turmoil at all? No, he said he knew before I knew. About being gay? You were gay first. Yeah, he knew that I was gay. He Duh. He Anyone, gay. when you were doing the dress... What is the story when you're fucking coming down Christmas and you got a dress <laughs> on and you're like two years old? How did you get a dress on when you're one and a half? I was Nobody five. Knew. Not more than a half. So you're five, you got a dress, you're coming down, and what's happening now? Uh, no, I would, every day I would like wear like this dress and these like little ruby slippers from the Wizard of Oz to like breakfast every day. That's either the gayest or the most womanly thing ever. <laughs> you just got to pick one at that point. Honestly, they probably, you're right. They probably would have accepted you either way. You're a special case. It could have been a lot tougher. You could have been looking like a linebacker at two. Like whatever like present I wanted, like whenever like it would be my birthday or something, and like my father would be like, "What do you want?" And I I would say I like wanted a dollhouse, and he would like buy it for me. Because he was his little he baby was girl. So awesome. Yo, your father real as fuck. Yes, we want you on the show, sir. Definitely. I'm calling you sir, like you're my you know future father-in-law, but. <laughs> You're not because me and Dina ain't getting married because Dina got a man now. <laughs> That's right. I do. Tell me about this nigga here, yo. <laughs> <laughs> 